So in this video, I'll be comparing the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 with the Zion Smooth 5S so that you can decide which one is best for you because the holidays are coming up and I know a lot of you are having a hard time deciding between the two. I've been using both gimbals for a while now and I have a good idea of all their features and functions. Now I'll be focusing on the important aspects that will likely affect your decision. I will start off with the similarities of both of these gimbals before moving on to the differences where I will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each gimbal. In the end, I'll be giving you my thoughts and my recommendations to which one I think is the best option based on all the factors. This way you'll be able to choose the right gimbal for your shooting needs. Now we're first going to start off with the similarity. In terms of similarities, both are priced around the same, around $169. Now with both, you're able to switch modes quickly. They also both come with a display up here where you can see which mode you're currently in. This is really important for me as I do switch modes depending on the shot I'm creating. Now, when it comes to stabilization, they're both really good. I didn't see really big of a difference. Now, both gimbals come with available apps. The DJI Osmo Mobile 6 uses the DJI Mimo app and the Zion Smooth 5S uses the ZY Cami app. And by using these apps, you can actually extend the functionality of your gimbal, but I mostly stick with the default camera app because I find that the native camera app produces a higher quality. Now, what's also great is that you can use the record button uh, to film in the default camera app, which is really great. This way you don't always have to use the screen to start recording. So let's now move on to the differences between these two gimbals. I will start by talking about the advantages of the Zion Smooth 5S. Now looking at the pros of the Zion Smooth 5S, you're able to rotate the phone 360 degrees without limits. This is really great if you wanna create, you know, these inception type effects. With the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, you're only able to rotate 230 degrees. Now, if you're someone who films a lot in low light conditions, such as, you know, indoors, uh, with the Smooth 5S, you get this nice built-in LED light. Whereas with the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, it is not included. They do have lights available, but it will cost you extra. Now, when it comes to balancing your gimbal with the Smooth 5S, you actually have more control as you can adjust the slider. Whereas with the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, you really don't have much control over it. Now, what I really like is that the Smooth 5S comes with a built-in power bank that you can use to charge your smartphone while operating with the gimbal. I find this really important because filming videos on a smartphone can drain the battery quickly, especially if you're shooting for long hours. The Smooth 5S can operate up to 25 hours, whereas the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 can operate up to six hours. Now, another reason why you would probably choose the Zion Smooth 5S over the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is that it's able to handle a heavier payload. On paper, the max payload is 300 grams, whereas the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, it has a max payload of 290 grams. However, when testing it in the real world, can actually handle more weight. And we're gonna test it out right now. I'm gonna mount my iPhone 14 Pro with a telephoto lens and a filter and let's see which one performs better. So this is the iPhone 14 Pro. I have a Sandmark case on it and I'm gonna mount the telephoto lens uh, on the wide lens. And the telephoto lens is actually pretty heavy. And I'm also gonna mount the variable ND filter by Sandmark on top. And this is quite heavy. So let's see, I can balance this end over here. And let's see how it will perform. We're gonna turn it on. All right, this is quite impressive. As you can see, it performs really well. I don't feel like the motors are struggling. Let's now test it out with the DJ Osmo Mobile 6. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, when I put it into horizontal mode, oh, it can't hold the weight. So I'm gonna turn it off 
As you can see, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 has a hard time balancing the telephoto lens with the filter and a case. But what is great is that you can get these counterweights on Amazon that you can simply screw on. And using this might help with the balance. So let's turn it back on. Okay, turn it. So as you can see, if you're using a counterweight, it could work, but I still feel it can't handle this much weight. You can see that it's shaking and the motors are struggling to keep it up. So yeah, you'll see that it's probably too heavy using the telephoto lens. So you could probably use it with an anamorphic lens or just use a filter. But if you're using something like a telephoto lens and a filter, you will have issues using the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Quick break, before we get into the advantages the DJI Osmo Mobile has over the Zion Smooth 5S, I have an online course available called Smartphone Filmmaking where you can join other students from around the world to learn how to shoot professional quality videos using just your smartphone. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to check it out. The link will be in the description. I think the best part about the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is that you have a quick setup time because it comes with a magnetic clamp system and I can simply mount this on my phone and then unfold this part, open it up and just place it and I'm ready to shoot. So this is a really efficient way to capture moments quickly. Whereas with the Zion Smooth 5S, it will take a bit longer. So I'd first have to unlock all motors. So, and then I can place it like this. And then I need to make sure this part is balanced. And then I can turn it on and I'm ready to go. So it does take maybe five to 10 seconds longer. Now, what I also like about the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is that I can quickly switch to landscape mode. Whereas on the Zion Smooth 5S, I would have to turn it off and then push it up and then turn it and then push it downwards and then turn it back on again. So this does take a little bit more time. Now something else the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 has is the built-in extension pole which I really like using, especially when you're vlogging or need to capture low angled shots. Whereas with the Smooth 5S, the extension pole is not included. You would have to buy one and attach it at the bottom of the gimbal. Now, when it comes to portability, I prefer using the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 as it's small, lightweight and foldable. So as you can see, I can just fold this part and when you compare both sides, you'll see that the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is pretty small. And what I like to carry with me is the everyday three liter sling bag by Peak Design. It's a really nice sling bag, especially for mobile creators. This is really great. And if I want to bring a gimbal along, I can just unzip this part and then just unscrew the tripod and I can easily put it in the sling bag and it also fits other stuff like my smartphone, third party lenses, a power bank. However, if I want to bring the Smooth 5S with me, so again, I can unscrew the bottom part and when I try to fit it into my sling bag, it just won't fit everything. So in terms of portability, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is really great. For my experience using both gimbals, the one that comes closer to my shooting needs it's actually really hard to tell because both have their strengths and weaknesses and it all comes down to the type of shooting you're doing. The DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is a great option if you need a more compact gimbal that is foldable and easy to carry around. And if you need to capture moments more efficiently, the magnetic clamp system makes it easy to mount your phone onto the gimbal and even go quickly handheld. Also, if you're a vlogger, the extension pole can be helpful and allows you to capture shots more creatively. On the other hand, if you need something that supports a higher payload, for example, when using additional accessories such as a case, third-party lens, and filter, 
then the Zion Smooth 5S is a better option. Also, if you're someone who films a lot in low light conditions, the built-in light can come in handy without needing to purchase an additional light. Also, if you need to shoot for longer hours, you'll be able to charge your phone while using the gimbal because we all know that shooting videos on your phone can drain the battery quickly. So I'll probably switch between both gimbals as it really comes down to what I will be shooting. So guys, I hope this comparison was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started making quality videos on your phone fast. Once again, thank you so much for watching guys. Love you all, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.